What the? Hey everyone, I'm Karim Al Sayed. I'm the founder and host of the Trailblazer Uprising Show, your favorite place to unlock the lessons of nerd culture to power up your life and your impact on the world. And welcome to episode number eight. All right, so today I wanna to share with you a clip that's actually very touching. And it's also the beginning of the end for the capital in the Hunger Games, if you couldn't guess. So let's check it out. Primrose Everdeen. Where are you, baby? Come on up. Well, come on up. Prim! Prim! I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute. Uh, I believe we have a volunteer. Uh, Mr. Mayor. I need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. No. Go find mom. No. Prim, go find mom. I know. No. So sorry. No. Go find mom. No. Prim, leave. Go find mom. No. 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 Dramatic turn of events here in District 12. What's your name? Agnes Everdeen. Well, I bet my hat that was your sister, wasn't it? Yes. Let's have a big hand for our very first volunteer, Katniss Everdeen. Just imagine how much Katniss must love her sister Prim in order to sacrifice herself and to take her place. It's just incredible. Now let's put the tragic nature of the situation on the side for a second. This moment is actually the turning point in the struggle between the 12, well, 13 districts and the capital. And the rebels are led by none other than Katniss Everdeen. But you have to wonder, what is it that makes her willing to go up against the seemingly unstoppable, all-powerful capital? Well, it's simple. She's got something worth fighting for. See, she's not just fighting for her own survival or for the pride of her district or whatever, she's fighting for her sister. She's fighting to make sure that she's safe and that she stays safe. You know, a lot of times we set out with these just lofty aspirations, these amazing goals, you know, we wanna change the world, we want to improve our lives, we want to improve our career, we want to earn more money, and we experience some difficulties or some challenges along the way, and so we don't persevere, we don't stick through it. And that's because we never had a proper motivation. We never had a strong enough reason for action. In Katniss's case, she's got an extremely strong motivation that pushes her through to success and to victory. It's strong enough to push through all of the trials and the tribulations that she experiences as a part of the Hunger Games, the Quarter Quell, and even the war. So today, I want you to think about whatever goals or project you're working on in your life and get it in your head. All right, you got it? Okay, let's run through this quick four-step checklist. Number one, is your motive clear or is it ambiguous? Number two, is your motive compelling? Is it strong enough to help you push through any obstacles that you might face? Number three, is it exciting? Is it energizing? And number four, does the weight of your motive match the weight of the goal? Is this a fight for survival? Is this a fight that you can afford to lose? Now, if the motive you have now isn't up to snuff, that's okay we can find a better reason for action. Let me help you think through it. First, who's counting on you to succeed? Second, what is the cost of you giving up? Think about it for yourself, for your family, for your community, and for the world. And finally, what is the reward for winning? Now, if looking at it that way doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. And that brings us to tweet time. Achievement and perseverance are impossible without first finding something worth fighting for.
Ladies and gentlemen, Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire. All right, now I want to hear from you. What are you aiming for? And what makes it worth fighting for? Let me know in the comments below, or better yet, back on this post at trailblazeruprising.com. That wraps up today's episode. I hope you liked it. If so, please like and subscribe and do me a huge favor and share it with all of your friends. I really appreciate it. And for more advanced training and inspiration that I only share with my subscribers, head on back to trailblazeruprising.com and sign up for my newsletter. And remember friends, don't ask for permission. Make every moment of your life meaningful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Trailblazer Uprising show. No! I'm gonna be here for a while. Number eight. Is it? It is. Um, you know, blah, 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 blah.